Uh, let's see what Alan in Coventry has to say, because I think it's somewhat different. Alan, good evening. You're on Talk Sport. Good evening, Mike. Yes, sir. Um, first, uh, thank you for the many shows uh, I've listened to you. I don't always agree with you, but I do respect your forensic approach to many issues. Um, Mike, I take issue on the uh, matter of atheism. I, I believe in God. I believe in Jesus Christ. But I understand where, I try to understand where you're coming from and your colleague, your speaker. Um, my point to you and all atheists out there, I, I think you're basically all foolish. And why? You prove to me that God doesn't exist. How can you maintain sci scientifically uh, your position unless you can disprove scientifically the existence of God. Right. Do you, do you believe in Zeus and Apollo and No, I'm Thor? asking you. No, I'm asking, I'm, you. I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm asking you. Yeah. There have been hundreds of gods that people have believed in, and let's just take Zeus or let's just take Apollo or Thor with his hammer. Can you prove that Thor with his hammer doesn't exist? No, you can't. So does that... Why, does the, why then do you challenge me to disprove the existence of your God? It's just your God. No, but, you, but what you're saying, you're saying that people who believe in God are deluding themselves. Uh, I, I don't, I'm not saying that uh, people who believe in God are, are, are necessarily basing that on, on, on evidential, uh, on, have an evidential basis, but uh, neither do you have an evidential basis for your atheism. You, you surely, scientifically, and the chap who phoned in about new scientists, surely to, to propagate atheism, you have to have a scientific basis that God doesn't exist. Well, I think, I, I think I do have it, but before going on to that, I just wanted to point out to you that I presume you don't believe in the flying spaghetti monster. I presume you don't believe in pink unicorns. I presume you don't believe in Thor with his hammer, but you can't disprove any of them. So the mere fact that you cannot disprove something is no reason to believe that it does exist. Um, if, if something um, can be neither proved one way or the other, then surely we have to keep an open mind. Well, I have an open mind about Thor with his hammer and about invisible pink unicorns, I'm do you? I'm not saying I don't. Okay. I'm asking you, do you have an open mind that God may exist? Sure, I Mike do. Dickin and the gentleman who phoned in. If, you, would read, you, if you read my book, you would see that I have an open mind. Well, I, I, I'm sorry I'm very busy. I haven't got time. But I'm not saying I wouldn't have interest in it if I had the time. Yes. Um, uh, can you, uh, surely, uh, I mean, how can you disagree with what I'm saying? That, that you, surely you have to be able to disprove uh, the, the, uh, God's existence. To be Didn't able you to understand speak. a word I was saying about Thor with his hammer? Um, Do you have to be able to disprove Thor with his hammer? I can say that I don't believe in Thor with his hammer, but if someone can prove to me that... that um, it, I mean, there are some things that, that, that don't really have a great deal of evidential basis. Surely the, the, the possibility that God exists in, 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 I think, well, from my point of view, the Christian... Uh, uh, but why the Christian it, one? It, it, How it, do you decide it, which God let, that let's you're talking talk about? about? Evidence. Let's talk about evidence. Uh, Mike Dickin uh, mentioned the tsunami. Good point. Uh, uh, it was, the, it's, one of, it's one of a million, Scott. Yes. But there are also many, many, many uh, uh, in, in existence, the fantastic integrity of nature. How do you explain, for example, scientifically, the ongoing uh, reproductive uh, capacity that, that within uh, a newborn child is a, uh, the potential for a, a second newborn child within that child is a further newborn child. Well, as it as happens, happens you've, you've hit upon the, the, the basis for Darwinian evolution. That's how I would explain it. Hmm. Uh, e evolution is the answer. You, you can't prove a negative. Uh, the point you're making is, is, is wrong simply because you cannot prove a negative. You can prove a positive. You show me a God and that's a positive. I can't show you there isn't a God because I wouldn't know where to look. Surely, the, I, I, I can't agree with you. Surely the most you can say is I'm agnostic. That I could agree with. But yes, I can't so agree with someone who says, I'm an atheist, I, I don't, there is not a God. Okay, I'm agnostic about that, and I'm agnostic about pink unicorns and the flying spaghetti monster. But you're open, you're open to, the, to the possibility that there might be a God. Yes, and are you open to the possibility that there might be Thor with his hammer and an invisible pink unicorn? 
Uh, I've got to work my head round that one, but, um... Okay, well... <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll leave you to, uh, to do that. It'd be an interesting result okay. if at some point you could perhaps let us know, because we could then do a programme. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the spaghetti monster, because it has to be a personal thing of mine, but I will talk about pink unicorns. Uh, 